Hi, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my newest psychic tarot reading on Martin Lawrence, one of my actual favorite comedians. Um, thank you all for listening and watching. Uh, I'm Lamar Towns Townsend, if you're new to my channel. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. And I am also available for personal readings. I am an on-time psychic, an extremely accurate psychic with uh, proof to show for it. Check out the Accurate Predictions playlist on my YouTube channel, as well as the Accurate Predictions on my website and all the reviews on my website. Um, speaking of my website, definitely check that out for readings. Once again, Lamar Townsend Tarot.com. I am available for readings. You can also text me at 703-791-9162 right now. Whenever you're listening or watching, I'm available right now for a reading. If you would like your own reading from me, definitely check out my website. Hold on. This is my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. So once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can definitely scroll down. Well, first of all, go to the home section. Sorry about that. Once you reach the home section, and once again, my website is designed and created by me. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook. And if you would like your own reading, go right to the store section of my website. This is where you would go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, candles, and different things I offer. I do offer email readings, phone readings, video recorded readings, past life readings, birth chart readings. Um, phone readings are 15 minute, 30 minute, and hour long. Um, video recorded readings and email readings are typically sent to you within one to three days or less. Could be a little bit more depending on how busy I am. Right now I am caught up with all my orders. So uh, you would most likely get your reading sooner rather than later. I also do offer past life readings, mediumship readings, uh, compatibility birth chart readings, tarot classes, astrology classes, spiritual development classes. If you want to develop your spirituality and the spiritual routine. I also offer uh, dream interpretation readings, custom candles, protection candles, money candles, success and love candles cleansing candles blockage removal candles so anything spiritual definitely check out my website lamartownsandtarot.com like i said i am available for uh readings i'm available for candles classes and everything in between so definitely reach out to me on my website lamartownsandtarot.com also treat yourself to a new year reading or a new year candle or a new year class all right. Happy New Year to all my people. 2024. Speaking of 2024, we recently have a 2024 Emmys in which Martin Lawrence did participate in. And there were some concerns over Martin Lawrence's appearance and his health. Um, or there were some health concerns uh, based on his appearance on the Emmy 2024 Emmys. Uh, it, uh, you know, I, I unfortunately can't play the clip on here on YouTube because, you know, I don't want to get demonetized. But he was kind of like, I watched the clip a few days ago. It almost seemed like he was slurring his words or there was something weird with his speech. I couldn't tell if maybe he had like taken some like muscle relaxers or maybe he was on medication or maybe he had a few drinks before, you know, um, at one point, actually, there was like a whole skit that they did. They like recreated the Martin set at the Emmys and um, the cast of Martin came out, of course, without Tommy, unfortunately, because Tommy uh, passed away a few years ago. Rest in peace, Tommy. Martin is one of my favorite shows growing up. Martin uh, was also one of my favorite comedians growing up. There's only a few comedians I can think of that I truly love. Uh, most of them are black. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Martin Lawrence, Bernie Mac, Monique, um, Joan Rivers... You know, um, I actually like George Lopez, too. I like the George Lopez show a lot. Anyways, um, this isn't in my favorite comedians list because I could, you know, name of, you know, many others as well if I wanted to. But um, so, yes, Martin Lawrence, um, let me show you the picture of where they recreated the Martin set on the Emmys 2024 So this is the Emmys 2024, Martin, uh, Gina, Pam, and Cole. 
All right. And there's a picture of Tommy right there in the center. Now, to be fair, they all do look older. They all do look different. I mean, they are older. Martin was filmed in the 90s. Martin Lawrence himself, also the comedian, you know, his heyday was in the 90s, you know, in the early 2000s. I mean, I remember growing up, I loved Big Mama. I thought Big Mama was so funny. One of my favorite, you know, movies growing up, Big Mama, you know, or Big Mama's House, you know, Big Mama's House came out in 2000, you know, 24 years ago now. You know, and like, once we got to the end of the 2000s, Martin wasn't as... Martin was already not as popular as he once was, you know? So, to be fair, there's been something kind of off about Martin. But for some reason, um, look at my cat Fonzie back there. Fonz Tanza? Fonzie B? Fonzine? <laughs> um so yeah there were some concerns over his appearance on the martin um show i mean he does like look kind of, even in this screenshot here he does look kind of you know i don't know i don't know what the word i want to choose is i don't know if i want to say the word off he just looks older to me so anyways my purpose in this reading is to figure out what's going on with Martin. Is there any concerns that we need to be mindful of, you know, honestly, when it comes to his health? You know, because he's one of the greats. He's a legend. There's been a lot going on in 2024 so far. So I just want to make sure a legend is good. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this reading on Martin Lawrence. I'm going to go ahead and do a singing bowl real quick. Um, for those of you that weren't familiar with what's going on with him, I just wanted to take the time, you know, in the beginning of the video to preface what's going on. And then we'll get into the cards after I do my energy channeling mediumship reading on what's going on with Martin Lawrence. Let's get into Martin Lawrence. What's going on with him? All right. The first thing I'm going to do is do a quick singing bowl. Thank you, Spirit, for opening up the channel so that I can connect with what's going on with Martin Lawrence, the comedian. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, my emotions, my space. For those that inhabit my space, any extension of my space. Thank you for allowing energy to go back from where it came once this reading is over. Thank you for protecting me as watching this video. In the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray. And thank you. Amen, amen, amen. I love that. I love it. It's so calming. All right. Let's tap in. Thank you, Spirit, for showing me and giving me clarity in what's going on with Martin Lawrence. The first thing I hear right off the bat is stroke. Stroke. So a couple things or one thing first off the bat is I remember a situation with Martin Lawrence from when I was a kid because it was a big deal. It was a big story where I think he was trying to lose weight and he had on he was like running around in his backyard and he had on like a trash bag or like several layers of like latex on to like lose weight and sweat and he ended up passing out or having like some sort of heart attack or something like that or stroke or heat stroke does anyone remember that story from like way back in like the early 2000s i'm talking like when did that happen you all that had to be like what like 2001 2002 2000 maybe i 
I get the energy where he's had to be saved or resuscitated a few times going back to maybe like early in his career, like going back to like the late 90s, early 2000s. I feel like part of this could be lifestyle catching up with him in, you know, partying lifestyle and things of this nature, but also lifestyle of like not getting sleep or not like taking care of himself. So he's had, I want to say a few chances, at least one or two like chances or points where maybe he's been brought back to life or something like that. Um, and I hear the word monitored, so I almost feel like there's something with him and being monitored or monitoring. So I feel like I don't know if he has to be monitored or if there's something with his health that has to be monitored, like you have to monitor these levels kind of thing. I get something with the heart, like a heart condition. Um, I hear slow beating, slow beating. And I hear the word pacemaker. So I'm not sure if he has like a pacemaker or something with the heart. Um, I feel like this could also go back to something from his childhood, though. Like, it's kind of like the energy of like, I don't know if he, it's possible was he maybe born with a weak, a weak heart? Or was there something that happened as a young child that had a strong impact? Like, almost like, think COVID. Like, you know, you know, oh God, like, that's the last thing I want to bring up. It's been four years of this, you know, horror story. But COVID, you know, at times has like a lasting impact or effect, you know, and long term, that could have an impact on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you don't fully recover from COVID or something like that in the proper way, it's like, you know, there could be an impact. There could be some scarring. There could be some leftover residue. Like There could be something. I, I say all that is to say as an example where it's like maybe was there something with Martin in that energy or... Going back to COVID, once again, with COVID, was there something there as well? Because there's people that got the shot. There's people that didn't get the shot. There's people that got sick, you know, sick with the C-19. And there's people who didn't. And we know recently that there's been something going on. I'm recovering from it myself. You could probably hear a little bit in my voice. Finally, thank God. Thank y'all for y'all's prayers. My voice is returning back to normal. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. But um, I even caught something a month ago, last month. You know? Um where it was like it was chest related bronchitis related like i had to go get antibiotics like you know because the natural you know remedies the uh, over the counter you know medicines like mucinex just were not working you know um The reality is, this is the energy I pick up. The reality is, is that maybe due to lifestyle, due to previous health issues over a span of time, the body of Mar the Martin Lawrence we know today is, is fragile. I'm not sure how old he is, but he has to be in his 50s or 60s now. But because of like what his body has gone through, his body, like in terms of his internal system, is like years older, like decades, you know, or so years older. So it's kind of like the energy of 
maybe switching out the outside look of the phone. Like, for example, this is, child, I don't even know what I, this is like an iPhone 10 maybe, or an iPhone, I think this is an iPhone 10. And then this is an iPhone 12. It's like switching the outside look of the phone. You know, this one looks more modern, more sleek, more, you know what I'm saying? More of today's time. But what if I told you that this phone ran faster than this phone? This What if I told you that this phone ran faster than this phone, which is the truth? And this is older, but this has taken a lot of abuse. I'm not going to lie to you. This phone has taken a lot of abuse. I've taken this phone with me in the shower, you know, which is, you know, never a good idea. It's not waterproof. It's dropped plenty of times. Um, I've done the thing where somehow, well, this has also happened. Uh, when I brush my teeth, I like to listen to videos or, you know, watch te you know, watch something with my headphones on in the mornings. And, um, I like to like, you know, like to, I like to watch what I listen to. Right. You know, so a lot of times I like be balancing my phone a certain way and the phone will end up falling in the sink and getting like, you know, uh, cause I, this is bad as well, but I keep, uh, I remember my aunt as a young kid teaching me to not like do this, but anyways, I do this still as an adult. Sorry, auntie. Um, I keep the water running sometimes when I brush my teeth. Because, you know, I'm going to sp spit out the toothpaste. I'm going to put the toothpaste underneath the sink. So why stop the water? You know, I'm a Capricorn. You know, I like to be efficient. Keep the water running because I'm going to use it, you know, consistently. So the issue with that is, is if your phone is not secure because you keep the water running. And if that phone falls into the sink, that water you've been keeping running is going to get the phone wet. And that's what happened to me. A few times, actually, with this phone, and it, it, this phone just took so much abuse to the point that I actually can no, I can no longer charge the phone through this port because I made also the mistake of when this phone would get wet like that, I would still charge it through the USB. And the thing with iPhones or phones, they'll tell you, you know, take the charger out. It, it's the port is wet. You could damage the port. You could damage the phone. You know, and it's like you can override it, and I kept overriding it, and now the port won't work. I say all that to say, all right, there's a point to this, I promise you. Just because this phone looks better and is more sleek looking and has more bells and whistles to it, doesn't, there's three things on the camera here, right in the back, two cameras right here. This one only has one camera. But the, the, what if I told you the camera quality was, you know, on both was just as good. Just because this is a newer phone with a newer body on the outside doesn't mean, in my case at least, that it runs faster or smoother or better than this one. Because this one, the old one, with the one camera in the back, runs way smoother and better right now as I speak than this one because of the damage that this one has gone through. This is this this phone. This is Martin Lawrence. In comparison to this, do you get you do you get the analogy I'm going with? The abuse that this phone has gone through with me, the story I, the stories I just told you, you know, this phone. This is this is this is Martin Lawrence. It's, it's a metaphor for. Martin Lawrence's health and his body, his physical health as we speak. So he really has to take care of himself because there could be some things that aren't working. Just like this port doesn't work, there could be some things that aren't working properly. And you have to now find alternative ways of making it work. So since I can't charge it with the port, I have to use this wireless charger right here for this phone, which, by the way, gets too hot. And then when the phone gets too hot, sometimes it, like, doesn't work. There we go. 
When the phone gets too hot, you know, on this wireless charger, it becomes unusable. So I'm scared that one day this phone is just going to die on me, you know, or, you know, God forbid, blow up or something like that, just from the abuse it still takes to this day. But I know I have to be gentle with it. So that does not happen, right? Jokes, 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 but serious, 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 right? That's Martin Lawrence and what he's currently going through. So just because he looks dapper and he looks okay on the outside, what's really going on is there's some issues on in, on the inside, on the internal software of Martin Lawrence as we know it. All right. I get something with the kidney for some reason. I get something like the lungs. Like it kind of reminds me of the energy of like Bernie Mac. How at some point Bernie Mac became like almost like immunocompromised because of his illness. I'm not saying Martin's going to go through that, but I'm just going to say Martin. Martin's going to have to be like very particular of how he moves because of his immune system. Like, I feel like his immune system is weakened, is what I'll say. All right. I don't know why I get the energy of hearing rush to the hospital. Like, there could be something about, God forbid, knock on wood. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, I definitely don't want this to happen because I love Martin Lawrence, but I hear rush to the hospital. I keep getting something with the heart. So we could eventually hear that, you know, he's, you know, there are some health issues, health concerns. It's not the old Martin, you know. Fortunately, I hear, I hear it like this too. I hear a spirit says it's not the old Marty Mar. If you're a fan of the Martin show, you know, right? I hear new new Martin or the new Martin. He's not as spring and spry as he used to be. I feel like he needs to take breaks sometimes. There's some health concerns. All right, let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. And we're black. Let's go ahead and see what, um, what's going on with Martin Lawrence. Like I said, ciao. Thank you for cleansing and clearing energy. But stack when you pass reading in the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, I, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Remember, if you want a reading, I am available. Book a reading with me, lamartownsintero.com, or text me at 703-791-9162. I'm available at the time you're watching this video right now. Is there something, and should we be concerned about Martin Lawrence and his health? Is Martin Lawrence having any health issues or health concerns? Do we be concerned over his longevity spirit? Give us some clarity over the longevity and the health, uh, the health longevity specifically of Martin Lawrence. Give us some clarity. Get a woman showing up here, uh, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Aries female. Could be a female in a position of power. Two of Cups shows up connected to personal belongings, finances. Two of Cups is a bond or connection between two people. Huh. Five of Pentacles is connected to communication, intellect, and the mind. There's definitely some things they're not telling us. Um, I also feel like there's some things that have been put into place. 
There's been some passing the baton or handing the business over, handing this over to someone or changing hands going on. The justice card shows up connected to emotions, family, and the home. Justice card could be bringing, bringing balance, truth to light. Could be balance, fairness. Five of Pentacles could be a lack of resources, time, energy, effort, connected to communication, intellect, and the mind. You know, I'm starting to get also a, a Bruce Willis kind of situation where it may be, is I'm, I'm worried of, is it worse than we think it is kind of thing. Um, I get the nine of cups connected to creativity, self-expression. They're going to find a way to make it work, but still people keep, keep people leave left in the dark as to what's really going on with him. It's like they're going to prop him up, you know, and I feel like he's still going to be able to perform. But I always say with this card, what's behind the curtain? There's this, this element of secrecy here, all right? What is it that's keeping him propped up or allowing him to perform in his state or his condition? The Five of Cups is connected to health. This is disappointment. This is um, being disappointed over how a situation has turned out, but there's still good news. Five of Cups, five deals with um, Mercury, which is health. Huh. There's some health issues with him, you all. I hear there's been some health setbacks. This could be related to the CV-19. This could be related to COVID, allegedly. The Hierophant is connected to change, evolution, growth, endings, loss, death. The Hierophant would be a card of spiritual intervention, would be a card of seeking advice or guidance. The Hanged Man is connected to open-mindedness, optimism, stepping outside one's comfort zones. The Hanged Man is having one's hands tied behind their back. I feel like they're taking a chance on a resurgence with him, or they're taking a chance on... um investing i feel like the industry is taking a chance on reinvesting in martin lawrence because of these uh, alleged health issues uh y'all connected to long-term health i get the eight of swords eight of swords could be uh you know a card of being stuck stuck in one's mind stuck in a situation in some way shape or form eight deals with long-term health and numerology it's ruled by Saturn. Um, there's some health issues. There's some health concerns. And whatever it is, it restricts him. It's apparent. Six of Wands, though, is facing the Eight of Swords. Six of Wands is connected to working amongst a group of people. Last card is the Ten of Pentacles. But at the end of the day, it's about making money. It's it's the... Uh, how does that song in uh, Beauty and the Beast go? Tale as old as time. True as it can be. It's a tale as old as time. The artist, the, the celebrity... The singer, the actor, in this case, the comedian is clearly going through something, but their team, their family, you know, prop them up in order to keep the money flowing. It's about money. But this man is, is dealing with some health issues. At the very least, it could be also mental health concerns as well. You know, comedians can sometimes be dark have dark thoughts and things of this nature, right?
So I'm going to say, I'm going to call it, if it's not health related, it's mental health related, y'all. Send love to Martin Lawrence. All right. Ooh, that got deep. That got deep, y'all. Get the final card. If you want your own personal reading, once again, text me for a reading. Oh, LamarTownsandTarot.com. That was deep. What's the final card for Martin Lawrence? Right, let's see what card we got. Trickster. Trickster. Interesting. The trickster card. It says the light attribute of the trickster, transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. Interesting. The shadow attributes of the trickster card are manipulating others through duplicity. Could some of this be karma as well, what he's going through? I wonder who the real Martin is. I would love to hear, hear stories of other people's perspective of who the real Martin is. I feel like we would be surprised by some of the stories we hear, uh, you know, about Martin through the eras. There's something about this health situation that's humbled him or is meant to humble him. All right. Huh. All right. This was a very interesting reading. I'm not sure how to feel, to be honest with you. And I, I, I'm surprised the trickster card came out. But you know, the magician is here uh, in this picture. The magician can be pulling the rabbit out of the hat, smoking mirrors. Comedians can be magicians. Right? But to some degree, what we see isn't what we get with Martin. There's something that's not being said. That's the trickster part, I think. I think they're telling us one thing, but there's really something else going on behind the scenes. So I think if they're saying, oh, he's fine, I'd, I think it's trickster energy. All right. All right, y'all. Ooh, child. Contact me for reading at LamarTownsandTarot.com or text me uh, at 703-791-9162. I do have WhatsApp also for international clients. Thank you all for listening and watching. I'll catch you all in your own personal reading. I'll see you in the next video. Either way, I will see you soon. Love and light. God bless. Make sure you also like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Sorry about that. Let's try that one more time. Thank you for listening and watching. Contact me for your own personal reading. I love you all.
psychic with the T, the psychic with the T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Psychic with the T, the psychic with the T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me. Mm-hmm.